Louise Nevelson was an American sculptor known for her single colored wooden wall pieces and outdoor sculptures. She was born in 1899 in Russia, and when she was a small child, her family moved to a tiny town in Maine. Her dad was a lumberjack and eventually became the owner of a lumber yard. Louise didn't really like being in Maine. As soon as she finished high school, she moved to the most exciting city she could think of, New York. She loved being there and got a job as a stenographer, which is a type of secretary. She also attended art school. She tried every kind of art, drawing, painting, printing, trying new things until she realized that what she really wanted to do was to sculpt. Deciding to make sculpture really connected her to New York. She would walk around the city streets and pick up any thrown away item, particularly wooden things, and bring it home to become part of a sculpture. The kind of sculpture she made was called assemblage. The artist assembles pieces and parts to create an artwork that brings it all together in a new way. She loved giving old bits new life, very different from the uses they had before she turned them into art. She decided that she was going to be the sort of artist that people considered eccentric, and I think she was. She was quirky and interesting. She wore crazy outfits and crazy amounts of makeup and often hid her hair under big scarves. She looked like a gypsy. One trademark thing you could count on seeing every time you saw her was her eyelashes. They were huge and black. Every day she put on, no joke, 10 pairs of mink eyelashes. Every time I see a picture of her, the first thing I do is look for her eyelashes. Even though she had traveled the world, her heart was always in New York and she happily returned every time. Her artworks eventually made her famous. She made her art for herself, she said, not for anyone else. Her works were monochromatic, one color, and she had periods of different colors. She began working with black, then moved on to white, and then to gold, and each color had its own meaning. Black was majestic and showed greatness. White was hopeful, like a sunrise. Gold was a tribute to the sun and the moon and the way that money, gold, drives so many people's lives. The thing I like most about Louise Nevelson's work is that you get drawn inside. It makes you want to get closer so you can see all of the details. I like to look at her work in parts and try to figure out what I think the pieces might look like. I want to shrink myself down and walk through as a tiny person, experiencing her art from the inside. As you look at Nevelson's work, imagine yourself as very small, small enough that you could walk through her assemblages. Take your time. Try to think of what each piece looks like to you. This is a fun thing to do with families and friends. Everybody has ideas of what the parts of her art look like. If you would like to do that, stop the video as you get to a new artwork. Sometimes a curve might look like a slide or a circular part could look like a steering wheel. Some of her works are almost like rooms with interesting things in them. I would love to move through all of this. I love how she uses curves. Everybody knows that I like circles the best, so this is one of my favorites. Don't you love the layers too? If you were tiny, you could walk behind some of that stuff. Don't you just sort of wish that you could get on in there? What is that curvy part? And look, eyelashes. What is it about? What does it look like to you? You are able to make art like Louise Nevelson with things that you can find around your house. Get a shoebox top and then start finding things that would fit inside of it in an interesting way. You can collect small objects like little toys, corks, safety pins, pasta, puzzle pieces, bits of cardboard, bottle tops, beads, and anything else little that you can think of that your parents will let you use. Fill your box top as completely as you can. Make them go in layers so you can see parts behind what is in the front. One rule though, your objects have to fit inside of the box and cannot be any taller than the size of the box. Once you've gotten all of your pieces together, glue them down. Make them as interesting as you can. And perhaps, well, if you want to, your parents will buy some spray paint and you can paint the whole thing one color like Louise did. I think kid art is fabulous. And looking at these, I'm very proud of the students that made them. 
When you're finished with yours, please take a picture and email it to me so I can see your work. You could even take a series of pictures after you make it. Now, go find some stuff and have fun making your assemblage.